Right now, I'd like to call on this young lady who in 2020, nung una namin makita yung kanyang application video at saka yung photo, sabi talaga namin, yun na. Uwi an na. <laughs> diba? Hindi pa man nagsisimula yung pageant, we knew she had what it takes. Kasi, iba, ang, ang ganda-ganda niya, naturally beautiful and her credentials were just something else and she has proven that. Uh, as you saw in the Miss Universe Philippines competition where she competed, um, she was very um, into it with her psoriasis campaign. Kahit na, you know, a lot of people would say, ay, eh, may psoriasis ka pala, ba't kasasali ng pageant? Diba? And then, so she was there to remove the stigma of psoriasis and she has done a very, very good job. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a hand to Ms. Zana, Hannah Rie Sarsoso. Anna. Na ang payat-payat na yun. Nakakaingi. Anong ginawa mo? Parang si Marike, three weeks daw, before the digital queen, hindi kumain. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm back. <laughs> hello to our media friends and of course hello to the board of NBC. So thank you so much for having me here. This is actually my first time to set foot here as diba, an Aliwan Fiesta Digital Queen 2020 and like, I always carry that with me loud and proud. So. AFDQ has been my stepping stone. It's what catapulted me to the national stage. It's what made people know who I am as a girl from the province who had big dreams of conquering the national stage as well. I'm really grateful for the Aliwan Fiesta Digital Queen platform because it was there that I was discovered. And during my reign in Aliwan Fiesta Digital Queen, I, I believe that they really equipped me into becoming who I am today, into preparing me for the national stage so that when I competed for Miss Universe Philippines, I knew that I was ready even though I had little experience. So I'm very grateful for that, grateful for the trust that they have given me because they believed in me. <laughs> And uh, yeah, they believed in me, so I believed in myself too. Because if you are Reina ng Aliwan, if, if, they, uh, if MBC put their trust on you, meaning that they saw something from you. And coming back here, coming back home after Miss Universe Philippines, made me believe in myself again that even though that, that journey is over, but I have these people with me who believed in me from the very beginning until now. So I am very grateful for that. Thank you, thank you so much for the opportunity because you have allowed me to spread my wings and chase my dreams. It's not everybody who gets to do that. So I'm sorry for being such a crybaby. <laughs> I'm just so happy and grateful to be here because this week then I'll be going back home to my province to meet my people there as well. So thank you, thank you so much MBC, thank you Aliwan Fiesta. I hope that this won't be the last that I be part of your activities, especially that you have your, um, the it's finally back, the face-to-face -face one is finally back. So thank you also to the media friends who've been with me in my Miss Universe Philippines journey. Um, without much being said, I wish you all the best. I pray that everything goes smoothly and that God may bless you tenfold. So thank you so much. Thank you.